You know, we have our own language here on Triple D. We like to say if it's funky, we'll find it. We like it a little crazy, a little wild, a little off the hook, maybe a little twisted. So we find a joint here in East Dallas called Twisted Root Burger Company. Well, they're now speaking Triple D language, and we just gotta check them out. Wiley Coyote. Your food's ready. Enjoy. Thank you. When you order your burger, they give you a little card. It has a name on it. You know, you get called. Quick, draw McGraw. King of Nottingham. Folks will answer to just about any name. I was Mr. Tambourine Man. Because when they do... Pamela Anderson, this is you right here. Look what they get. It's just really incredible, honestly. Chipotle, guacamole, cheddar, blue cheese, jalapeno burger. Green chili, guacamole, and pepper jack. All served up... Me and Pete Jack. ...by a couple of classically trained chefs, Quincy Hart... Three hands of the chili. ...and Jason Bosa. We met in culinary school our first day of school. All through school, we talked about restaurants... ...and doing one their way. Chipotle, guacamole. Not fine dining. Venison up. Fine burgers. About six, seven years later, we said, let's get this together and do this, and here we are. Putting their own twist on more than 2,000 burgers a week. Fresh and local ingredients, and we're offering a good quality product. Starting with the beef. Two more burgers. Even using two different meat to fat ratios. It's a mixture of 81-19 and 73-27. So we're getting ourselves a 77-23. There you go. You said one's too fatty, one's too lean. I'm just going to go ahead and make my own blend. Exactly. Throw in a little food. Batman, how much little, pepper? Not much. A little bit of salt and a little bit of breadcrumbs. For making meatballs? Our reason for doing the breadcrumbs is to basically seal in the flavor and the juices. And as opposed to that fat melting out of there, it's going to suck up into that dry breadcrumb and it's going to stay there. Correct. And what's the average size burger here? Half pound. There's no kids' burgers here. So do you measure them out ahead of time? I can pretty much eyeball it. Well, <laughs> give it away to the farm on that way, old Quince. What did I do, guy? 8.4. Wow. Can we hand form this? No, we got a patty machine that some great mind put together for us. We get angry with it. Yes, sir. You used to do this too, huh, guy? Uh -huh. <laughs> I used to get in trouble in the kitchen also. OK, that's it. I like the variety of options of toppings. Just pick the flavors that you want. Blue cheese, jalapeno. The regular burger with blue cheese. I got the Western burger. Western? Western. Western. Uh, the Western is always what I get. Very spicy. Give me Western, brother. It's a big burger. Giddy up. I like the little crunch you get from the flat top. A little pepper jack cheese on that. Some bacon. A little squirt, squirt. A little squirt, squirt. The steam really melted from the top. Yes, it does. Look at that. Get after them. Come here, bacon. Some onion strings on that. Build a little mess for those jalapenos. There you go. And my granddad's barbecue sauce. I need this today. Damn. That's like the everlasting burger stopper right there. 900 flavors. Spicy, sweet, crunchy, salty. Mm. Without question, my barbecue sauce is it. Thank I'll you, give you that. Onion slices, nice touch. That's a championship burger. Man. Thank you. That's a really, I mean, that's, that's burger done right. It's delicious. Great burger. Excellent. Yes, and all the other goodies with it. Cutting our own onions, cutting our own potatoes. Sweet potatoes going down. Even spice than deep frying pickle. Spicy pickle. A little bit of heat to it, a little bit of vinegar to it. It's a great pickle. The homemade ketchup. No. It's it's good. Good. With ancho and chipotle paste, sugar, cayenne pepper, and something to keep it to themselves. Never had any ketchup like this before. Regular ketchup doesn't stand a chance with it. They can get the regular stuff too. But you have no. the twisted version. Well, we got the twisted version. Of just about everything. Chipotle ranch, hot dog coming out, cinnamon, pecan, root beer. And it's just a little bit different than anything you've ever tried before. You're definitely a different place here than you've ever been to before. Order up, Tyson! The other burger places, it's your standard hamburger. But here in the standard twisted. Blue cheese, jalapeno. And twisted some more. I got a buffalo burger coming up. Buffalo meat. Blue cheese and jalapenos. It is absolutely wonderful. Very juicy. I can't stop the buffalo from flying out the door. There's your another naked buffalo. And here's one you don't see a lot. Venison. Oh, how is it? Excellent. What do we got? Some venison. A little salt. A little bit more than we had in the, in the Angus. On our Angus 7723. Yeah. Some pepper. <laughs> and some breadcrumbs. Not as a filler, as a retainer of moisture. Not, not like meatloaf, right? Yeah. We mix this and the buffalo by hand every day. So if you mix the buffalo and the venison, you could have a buffison. <laughs> That's a good one, guy. Hey, God, honey, did you see him riding that buffison down the street? It's six ounces this time. You go first. Whoever is closest without going over. Whoa. Okay. Okay, good. There's one. <laughs> hey, what can I say? The man's a winner. Now let's press one out. Ready to fire, cap. Fire in the hole. Beautiful. Now, what do we serve these with? Swiss peppercorn ranch and bacon. Is that good with yeah, you? Let's go. Can you feel the pain? Swiss cheese on that one. 
You gotta get under there. Oh, that looks good. Throw some bacon on that. Good crispy bacon. And some peppercorn ranch. Now look at that. That's a gourmet burger right there. I'm gonna tell you something. I would come back to that burger. Oh, thank you, man. That's the go-to burger for me. The bacon's great, the peppercorn ranch is on point, but the texture and the flavor of venison, that's that's my burger. Appreciate it, brother. That's good stuff, man. Great job. Appreciate it. Probably the best piece of venison I've ever had, and it's in a burger. It's the best burger around here, totally. So awesome. They have the best burger. Two a.m. coming up, baby. It's a great place with good sense of humor. I've got all the years of Stewie Griffin. Your food's ready. It always feels like a little party. Are you guys party here? I always wanted to say this. Round of beers on me. Yeah.